Hey everybody, we're already on, Neil. Can't ask about it now. It's John DePietro. We're here at Assumption College. We're looking at some old provocateurs, and Neil Burgess, the academic um, star of our class, has went back and found... Neil, what do you have there? Yeah, Neil, don't just show me the damn thing. Tell me what it is. It looks like the course selection for the fall of 1968. When we were young we were and young impressionable. Young 18. Yeah, name some of those courses. Name some of those, de those uh, professors. Oh, By the okay. way, I'm here with uh, Neil Burgess and Bob Hunter, and um, we are, are we have one goal, and we want to make you want to come back to Assumption in just a very short period of time. What what's the dates? Because I always get them wrong. June tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. Okay, Hunter. Friday, you, Saturday, Sunday. You agree with him on that? Yes. Okay, so <clears throat> Mr. Hunter. Okay, Neil, g give us some of those classes that. Uh, uh, Mr. True. Mr. True. Of the okay. 18th century English novels. Mr. Burke, American poetry. Let's see. Uh, there's more than one page, Neil. <clears throat> you, you can turn the page if you want. Oh. I know that's difficult for you. I to... just want to bring up some... Uh... In the meantime, Hunty's got some other so, ones here, Hunty. I think I have John's selections for freshman first semester. Are they, so, are they circles? That they didn't have yet. No, he had fine arts. Oh, I didn't take that. He, he Thank take God I arts? didn't have to take uh, fine arts. He took it fine is. arts, history. Intro to physics. Intro to physics. That was Mr. one of my Desjardins. favorite classes, Desjardins. Ex absolutely. You, took it, you didn't take physics. No way. No way. You didn't take physics? No way. <laughs> I didn't take fine arts either because I had just gone to Italy, and luckily I BSed my way into having them. And he is Richard Richard. Richard they, Richards, a.k.a. And we need Will Wilde. Bill, Bill Wiles has to be at the union so that he can do the class role. Okay, the class role. Okay. But in the meantime, Mr. Burgess has done an excellent job. And, you know, let's just give him a, let's just give him a little uh, hint of some of the fun that we're going to have on Friday night. Talk about your nickname idea. Yeah, I, I uh, came, I have a list here of approximately 30 class members. With nicknames. Okay. And you, you put together like a game show because you spent most of your life watching game shows on TV, right? Well, actually, I didn't watch as much TV as I would have liked because I didn't have a TV in my room. Right. But, Neil, you, you have admitted to watching replays of game shows when you knew who already won. Hunty, what, what do you, there must be some kind, of, some kind of disease that's called, isn't it? T TV itis or something? Probably. There's, a, there's actually okay. a clue concerning okay. the Go TV ahead. show. Tell us what. I'll give you one of our more illustrious classmates. Okay. This person was our Bar our Barney Fife on campus. Okay. So and we're now, who was that person and what was his nickname? Okay. So you don't want the person, you want the nickname. I want the right? nickname of the one who portrayed Barney Fife on campus. Okay. And uh, Hunty, do you have any idea who that might be? Um, I think I was actually one of my roommates. Were, were you ever arrested by this person? Uh, no. Okay. Neil, did they, let him, did they let him carry a gun? I think he had a gun with one bullet. <laughs> in the gun or in his shirt pocket? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, give me another one there because we, we don't want to give out uh, any names here. This, this person was always looking for a deal. A deal? What, what kind of deal? Like a, a great value deal? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but... Like, let's make a deal, or... CD. Yeah, well, I, that CD came into play. Like or, hey, man, it's me, let's make a deal. Uh, whatever. Okay. Cheech and Chong. Cheech and Chong. So, Hunty, what do you, you got a provocateur so, there. Is there anything yeah, that you're I finding? I want to point this out. Okay, so here is the artist sketch yep. of what was the Fike Center. The, the Fike Center. The Fike Student Center. And where was that located? This was in the basement of the... Senior, of the of, um, Founders. 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 The contribution of Mike Falsetti to the class and to the school. Okay. Um, Neil, you have some other nicknames of other people on campus. Why don't you read some of those out? Yeah, this is, this is outside of our class. Okay. This is nicknames of other people on campus. Okay. Uh, you say it. You say the name, and Hunty and I will try to figure out who it is. Uh, well, I know Bob knows all of these, so... I do? Um, I'm going to give probably the most famous of all these people on here as far as what they're doing today. This person's nickname was Harpo. Oh, Harpo. The governor of Rhode Island. Oh, that's right. Who had the same hair? No, wait a minute, no. 
Harpo. That was Dan McKee. Hey, the governor right, of Rhode the Island. Governor of Rhode Island. Anybody else there? From well, the, we had some professors on here too. From the class of seventy three. Uh, from the class of seventy three. Lacey Lou. Oh, from well, the class of seventy three. No, professors. Oh. Yeah, we have a class of seventy three person here. Okay. Uh, is his name Shaky? Actually, Shaky is on here. Shaky, okay. Shaky, a businessman in Holden. Yeah, who's who has made a lot of dough in his career. <laughs> He's made a bunch of dough. In his a career. bunch of dough because he owns what the Bagel Inn. The Bagel Inn. Hunty, you want to divulge his name? John Laracy. John Laracy, class of seventy three, who might be playing golf with us. That's right. Hopefully, he will. Shaft. Uh, Shaft. Most, one of our more entertaining. Shaft. I still see Shaft on Facebook. I think he lives in Atlanta. Oh. He's a staunch Democrat. He'll have to come up and play cards with Tim so Tim can win some money. Win some money back. Win some money back? Yeah. Tim doesn't have to win it back. He never yeah. lost any. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So let's get, um, uh, let's get the date out again, you guys. Okay. Yeah, there, there's an event on Friday evening, June 10th, that's really an informal event. I'd really love to see as many people as possible at this event. Uh, it's going to be outside in a tent. In a, well, in a covered tent. In a covered tent, right in Worcester. At so O'Connor's Restaurant. it's only a few, few miles from school, and it's um, look, something... Walking, I'd really like to see as many people as possible at this event. Right. It's walking distance to John DePietro's house. Right, so, in case you get yeah, really drunk. Right. Now, let's also keep in mind, let, let's be honest here. After 50th reunions, you, you really don't get together that much. So we're, we kind of have a special scenario because we were the all last all-male class. So there is some historical significance. But 50 years, man, I tell you, we're, we're, people are not all with us. And, uh, of course, that's true. Some of us came to Assumption 1968 that weren't all there anyway, right? <laughs> but, you know, guys... Um, I bet you he doesn't know who that is. You got to do this stuff when you're alive. What are you talking about, Neil? I don't want to give too many of the nicknames away. Just give me one more. Um, you're reading it, Neil. I know that's a difficult. A very, a very uh, promising athlete here when we first got here. His nickname was Goose. Um, was he a fireman? He eventually became a fireman in New Jersey. Yeah. A captain. Was, was he? I believe he's a captain. Number fourteen. He was number fourteen, and I took that number when he left. Right, right. So, Hunter, you want to say who it is? Sure, Goose. Jesus. Eric and Allen. Eric and Allen. Okay. So we're going to have more stuff like that. Look at we got a, we got the map of Assumption when we were here. Oh, it had all of like 10 buildings, including the power plant. And uh, look at no football field. It's just a swamp. I think it'll bleep over. Um, so look at, you're going to get stuff from Assumption. Oh, no, no. You remember that one, right? Yeah. Look, look at, I, I, I'm trying to be serious, and you guys are, you know, there's, I'm doing all the work on this committee. These guys are just putting their name on the thing so they get credit. But tell them, Hunty, you tell them that they're going to get a lot of mailers in the next couple of days and emails. And to send the damn money in. That's right. We want everybody to be there on Friday night and Saturday night. If you can't do one, you got to do the other. Right. So, so if, if your great-grandchild is having a ballet recital <laughs> on Friday, come the next night, right? That's right. Okay. And, Neil, we don't know this yet, but we're going to make up some awards, like the one with most kids, the one with most grandkids, the one with most hair, the one with most gray hair, the one with um, most arrests, stuff like that, right? Yeah, there's one other thing I want to promote too. Go ahead. Bobby Austin's put together a oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. a That's golf right. tournament that it's going to be a par three and e even if you if you just like miniature golf right and you want to putt it's something we could get together on the uh, the eleventh Saturday, Saturday morning right Saturday morning. Saturday morning for a couple hours par three golf a, course there's a beautiful golf course with Bob set it, it up with and. Uh, it's an event that, that we'd really like to see promoted here. And uh, hopefully, if you can putt, you can play in it. Right. So. This is not for scratch golfers. Right. Well, if you have a scratch golfer, you can play. Right. But and, these are golfers <clears throat> that after you hit the ball, you're going to scratch your head and say, where the hell did the ball go? And we're going to have some mixed uh, couples playing. 
mixed. What, what, what do you mean by mixed well, couples? Well, the person with because that the, has a different meaning today than when it did fifty years ago. Well, basically, we're going to have some females playing also. Okay, not half man, half woman. <laughs> no, no. Okay, we don't want to get into any of that political shit stuff, right? Okay, so tell us the dates again, Hunty. Uh, June tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Be there, Neil, or be square. See you. Go. At Assumption. Go Greyhounds. Go Hounds.